The Fremantle Dockers are preparing for their first final since 2015. Justin Longmuir joins me now. Justin, how did you go watching that Collingwood-Carlton game? Oh, yeah, it was definitely edge of your seat um, stuff. Um, but, yeah, I cop out a lot. Um, you know, we were disappointed not to finish top four, but um, doesn't really define our year. Um, you know, we've um, had a great body of work throughout the year and earn our way into the finals. And, yeah, our lot's fifth and um, we'll deal with that. So it's the Bulldogs next Saturday night. What does this week look like for you guys? Do you train the same? Do you do a match simulation later in the week? Uh, it looked pretty similar to in-season buy. Um, we'll do a bit of uh, combined session tomorrow with the Peel, with the Peel players uh, where we'll get some good match sim in. And then on Saturday, we'll do a, a big session with the AFL guys and, yeah, try and replicate probably a half of a, of a match. That will allow us to um, pop into next week and have a really similar week to... Um, what we would leading into any other game. How about Nat Fife? How did he pull up? And will he line up for Peel this weekend? Uh, he pulled up well. Um, and no, he won't play for Peel this week. Uh, we probably think it's too big a risk with a few other injuries, um, injury issues we've got going on. And we don't really want to put him at risk, uh, all the team at risk. So, well, yeah, there's some things he needs to work on in his game, but we think that he'll be able to do that easily enough at training during the sessions we've got. So... Yeah, we'll keep him out of peel this week. He seemed to cop a little bit of a knock, but a calf issue is not going to keep him out next week? No, he, he just um, had a bit of a cramp um, in that calf. So, yeah, he's fine. Um, yeah, I thought it was a nearly game for him. Um, and, yeah, he's close to having a, a big impact on the game. So he's not far off, which is a good sign. Can you give us an update on your three big guys, Matt Tabernar, Rory Lobb and Griffin Logue? Yeah, all a good good chance to play in the first final. Um, yeah, we'll just have to manage them over the next couple of weeks and um, they'll all be on individual programs and, yeah, we're hoping that all three of them can get up. If they are all fit, JL, would you play all three together against the Dogs? Are you confident to do that again? Uh, we'll have to weigh it up. Um, yeah, we played the three of them against them last time and a pretty good success, so... Um, yeah, that's a, that's a decision for match committee. Um, you know, clearly it's a bit of a risk taking three guys that haven't played for a while into a game, so there's a few decisions to be made there. You're hosting a final, but you've had three rising star nominations this year and four players in the AFL's 22 and underside. You'd have to be thrilled with where you find yourselves right now. Yeah, I th I th that's a great result. Um, all our young players getting recognised like that um, shows the, the dedication and the work that they've put in and Shows that our, I suppose, list builds in, um, progressing really well. So, yeah, we find ourselves in a pretty good position, but it's plenty of work to do. Heading towards a sellout for next Saturday. Justin, good luck with the preparations this week. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it, mate.